Hello and welcome to the channel. An aide to the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party PDP, Al RG Atiku Abubakar, has likened the resident electoral commission rec officer who hastily announced Aisha to Ahmed Binani as winner of the rescheduled Adamawa governorship poll to his boss, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. Chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, who was rash in announcing President elect Bola Ahmed Tinibu on March 1st in the presidential election. The REC officer had now been suspended or declared Binani winner, while results were still being collated. The announcement of results has, however, been postponed indefinitely. INEC still they dull. Seven up shambolic elections after shambolic elections. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Adama Warek practicing what he learned from Professor Mahmoud Atiku Zaid. Mr. Frank Shaibu, the Special Assistant on Public Communication to the Presidential Candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, has claimed that the electoral misconduct perpetrated by the Adamawa Resident Electoral Commission, Hudu Yunusa Hari, is nothing different from what the Chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, did during the presidential polls. Yunus Sahari had on Sunday announced Senator Aisha to Ahmed Binani, the APC governorship candidate in Adamawa, as the winner of the election, even while the results were still being collated. The national headquarters of INEC has since announced a suspension while postponing the announcement of the result of the poll indefinitely. Shaibu, while responding to the scenario in a statement in Abuja on Monday, explained that the national leadership of INEC could not pretend to be unaware of the many allegations hanging on the neck of the Adama Warek, noting that the suspension of the Adama Warek without his arrest and prosecution was merely a slap on the wrist. He said, It is crystal clear even to the blind that the Adama Warek learned well from the INEC chairman. INEC as an organization from the top to the bottom is akin to Ali Baba and the 40 thieves. As a matter of fact, the baby goat learns to eat grass by diligently watching the mama devour the lush grass around them. Despite having over one month to prepare for this supplementary poll, INEC retained this compromised wreck who went ahead to undermine the election once more. From all that has happened, it is obvious that Yunusa Ari was acting on orders from above, and that is why Governor Hamadou Fintiri's warnings were ignored. This carefully orchestrated action is a reflection of the electoral heist of February 25, 2023, when the INEC chairman, Mahmoud Yakubo, decided to announce Bola Tinubu of the APC as winner, despite the many irregularities and complaints from several opposition parties. Indeed, Yunusa Ari acted like his father and boss, Mahmoud Yakubu. The article hate for the said the Adamawa fiasco didn't come as a surprise, since Heineck had always been in bed with Binani and had even admitted in a statement that it awarded the contract to one of our companies. He added, Heineck had in a statement by National Commissioner Festus Okoye, admitted to awarding a sensitive contract to the Binani Printing Press Limited, a firm owned by the APC governorship candidate. In the statement, Okoye had claimed that the company was awarded the contract as a way of stimulating the economy and encouraging Nigerian enterprise. It is obvious that Binani and Ainek are in bed together. Shoaibu said Yakubu's name had become a byword for scorn after conducting the most flawed election in the history of Nigeria. The Atiku Haid wondered why Heineck, under the leadership of Yakubu, had failed to deliver a credible poll despite receiving the largest budget ever. He equally said, How will Mahmoud Yakubu be remembered? Well, Nigerian singers like Falls and Vector have already composed a song titled Yakubu, 
so that generations unborn will remember the sort of character he is. The video alone has garnered over 1 million views on YouTube and has become a social media sensation. This is a man who promised over and over again to upload the results of elections in real time to the INEX portal and failed to do so, yet he lacks the decency to apologize to over 200 million people. Nearly two months after that shambolic election, all the results are yet to be uploaded. Results from River State even show that Tinubu did not even win in that state. Rather than suspend the announcement of results, Mr. Yakubu decided to announce Tinubu as the winner. One wonders how such a man sleeps at night. Subscribe, like, share, comment and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Meanwhile, Governor Sheyi Mokinde of Oyo State has appealed to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to declare the authentic winner of the governorship election in Adamawa State. Mokinde made his appeal when he met his Adamawa counterpart, Governor Umaru Fintiri, on a solidarity visit at the government house in Yola on Monday. Recall that the state resident electoral commissioner, Hudu Yunusa Hari, controversially declared Aisha Benani, Dahiru, candidate of the Hull Progressives Congress APC, as the winner of the polls on Sunday. The development has met with condemnation from many political parties, concerned Nigerians as well as civil society organizations with calls for Ari's arrest. Reacting to the controversial declaration, INEX suspended the coalition and ordered Ari to stay away from all activities of the commission on the election in Adamawa. During his visit, however, Makinde urged the people of Adamawa state to remain calm, assuring that the current situation will be resolved amicably. Makinde described the illegal declaration of the APC candidate as the winner of the election is unimaginable and a shame on the person of Ari. He applauded INEC for a job well done in all your state and expressed confidence that the electoral umpire will prove its neutrality in the Adamawa process as the whole world is watching. Also, the People's Democratic Party PDP Governors Forum, under the leadership of Aminu Tambuwal, are strongly condemned what he described as a show of shame in the northeastern states. In a statement on Monday by its spokesman, Honorable CID Maduabum, the forum commended the immediate steps taken by the INEC as an institution to recover its battered image by nullifying the attempted coup and suspending the wreck. He, however, said the appropriate returning officer, Mele Lamido, should immediately conclude the collation and declare the result. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time. Bye.